Well, hello there. <laughs> so, um, welcome back to Pleasant View. I have three Sims in my Sim bin, and it's Georgia Newson and it's Garrett Newson. They just um, graduated from college, and then we have Randy London, which is the last Sim I'm gonna play. Uh, during the summer season and he was a townie but he is now engaged to Carol in university and that is why I'm I have um, made him an unplayed sim because they have a baby on the way I think it's his baby but I'm not sure <laughs> the drama so we are figuring out where to put these uh, and I'm gonna start with the new sons. So uh, Georgia, she has 4,200 left and or left in her household funds. So actually I'm gonna have to update my, um, my spreadsheet with that. Oops. There you go. And Garrett has 4,300. And the way I figure out where they can live is if they have 20,000, they can buy any lot they want that they, they can afford. And if they have less than that, we could still buy a lot if there's a... Um, a sheep lot which they could afford uh, if they have can afford it and then have five thousand simoleons left over they can of course move in with someone but the nuisance house over here is full and like in uh, in Garrett's case um, I'm just going to move him to an apartment so <laughs> then you you take 10% actually 20% of what they uh, what they have is the rent that they can afford so <laughs> uh, he can move in somewhere where the rent is 860 if I'm counting correctly, I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> so uh, that means, where are they? We have apartments over here, but they're a little bit on the expensive side for him. So we need to go over in Blue Water Village and obviously Georgia can can not afford to live there either. So she will also go over in Blue Water Village. I was contemplating having them live together, but I decided against it uh, just on some gut feeling. Now, are there only four apartments in this house? I do not recall. Um, no, we can only merge families. So <laughs> he could afford living in here, but there isn't room. So he will have to move over here. But wait, how many apartments do we have here? <clears throat> Is it the fact that, oops, that we only have, we have three people living in here. I think there's room for Georgia too, because otherwise they will have to live together. We'll see, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm moving in into an empty apartment. And yes, we are. We, I have had a, a few bugs in this apartment lot because of how I move sims around. I have caused some issues, uh, but I think I fixed them, maybe? Worst things that can happen is I bulldoze this lot and move everyone out. Not in that order. Okay, so what do we have here then? We do have, are these all, 
yes okay so we have a lot of vacant apartments so and i think i'm gonna have to move randy in here as well so well okay at least the cheap they usually save up to move out of here pretty quickly and that's why I, <laughs> there's there's a constant flow of people in here i cannot never remember who lives where the best one over here is this one but mcclellan's live here i don't remember who who's called Mc, is, is that amar i think amar mcclellan might be living there um i am rapidly increasing the number of sims i have so um there will have to be some kind of population control at some point but uh, right now i'm just and also what are these clothes that he <laughs> decided to grow up into i don't know that's just what happened so oh, i made that worse <laughs> there you go now he has an apartment and we're not playing him why are you here meadow wait i think i moved her in like she was a towny sort of person that um lived in one of these apartments and i have had issues so i moved her in like like a regular sim but she's still a towny <laughs> in my spreadsheet uh it's uh yeah so i don't think i'm gonna do anything with him now well i might set the day and incidentally it's supposed to be monday I think wait where did I put him Garrett where are you there you are yes it's true it's supposed to be Monday it's supposed to be the first day of autumn for Garrett and Georgia so I'm gonna buy one of the season setter thingies season and weather controller oh I, I can control the weather as well okay so I might as well have one of these too now you can't use the <laughs> wait actually don't do that okay uh set season number two ta-da it is now autumn fantastic and then I am going to save and just leave him there and we'll see next round what's happened to him because last thing that happens in the season is I play university and some people graduate or get expelled and they move out but then they don't have any days left so to speak so she has 4,200 and we can just move her I think I, I'm on, I can only have four okay well all right I think I'm annoyed <laughs> Okay, what we're gonna do is then they will share apartment. I will move Garrett out again. There were there are more than four apartments, but the game says you can only have now he somehow has six thousand simoleons. That does not make any sense. But maybe have found some money on the street or something. <laughs> so together they can afford an apartment in Pleasant View. Alright. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> well, that's not what I planned. I was contemplating it, but I don't want to merge families unless I have to. So, well, they will ha just have to make do. Mm. I did, however, have a slight criminal uh, overflow, <laughs> so to speak. I had way too many fighting sims. And so now I 
added three extra beds in the prison, but that gives me nine beds and a prison intendant. Um, or like prison boss? Caretaker? Person? Anyway, so, so that game gives me 10 sims in the prison. We can't have that. So I installed the mod and <laughs> I was too lazy to find the right one. So what I did is yeah, I'm, move into empty apartment. So what I did is I, I went through my old files of stuff and installed a mod called lot full of sims. When I googled I couldn't find exactly that. I know I had a, a mod that was called Lot Full of Sims. But nowadays you recommended other mods. And but there was more than one. <laughs> so I couldn't be bothered to figure out which one is the best one. So I just took the old one that I had in my old downloads folder, like that I had backed up. And I hope it won't cause too many problems, that's what I'm saying. So, and it's a little bit different from the ones that you can find on the internet. Uh, you can't move into a full family, but you can, you can summon people with the summoning bush and then move them in. And you can also make babies even though the family is full. Yeah, so that's what... <laughs> what I have in my game currently. I wish I could merge them before I moved him in. I don't think that's possible. So we'll just move him in and then move Georgia in. And then we are done with the nuisance for now. There we go. He wants to have a things but I'm not gonna do that right now it is Monday but it's the wrong season also I usually just go see they have like 1600 in their budget so they will they will rent this apartment Actually, Garrett will rent this apartment knowing that Georgia is going to dag, dag. show up. I don't know why he got that extra money. It's sort of strange. Maybe it's because he sold the furniture that was included in the apartment. That's not fair, is it? Well, I don't know. I'm just going to let it be. And I'm going to say that it's some sort of bonus <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so we did gotta do the season thing again there and I'm gonna put it here for now set season two it is autumn again fantastic saving this is uh, I I assume you all really love watching me doing do this administrative things I am gonna play Randy London for one day after I'm done with this nuisance I'm not, wait where I'm gonna put him oh there's room in the small apartments we'll have him move there uh, where did he go no not the goth house we are moving you in there Merge families. Would you like to combine the Nusen household with the Nusen household? Yes. There you go. Now I don't need to uh, focus on them. We can go to Blue Water Village, move Randy in and start playing. <laughs> and because he is, let's see. Uh, Randy is on the last day. He's, it should be Saturday for him. Last day of summer. And this is the last sim I am playing. So this is the London family. Randy was... 
Wait, did they? He was um, engaged to Lucy Burb. I don't remember if she married someone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what, who was it? I think, yes, it was actually Randall, Randy London that married Lucy Burb. We can check that, you know? But he has got engaged to Carol and she is pregnant. Uh, but he broke up with Lucy because she, um, well, <laughs> Alexander Goth kind of stole her from Randy. So now he is, he, he got to be single, but now he is uh, with Carol. Isn't this the apartment I moved the other ones into? I'm confused. Oh, because I moved him out again. Well, <laughs> if you keep your uh, thoughts straight for one day, <laughs> um, meet them. It, it's super. <laughs> Are you sure you want this apartment? Yes, they're all the same, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I could have taken this one. It's closer to the door. Well, I did not. Now he wants to have a baby because he has a baby on the way. So I lock that in because it's going to happen. So, and he also wants to get married, but we are waiting with that until Carol gets out of college. So he will just, he will live here with the baby. That won't, will not be ideal. But he will have to like make do and I'm not sure how we're supposed to, I mean, this apartment is so small that you can't fit like a bed and things. So maybe he doesn't sleep in the bed. Maybe he just has an armchair or something. I don't know. Well, his lifetime wish wish is to become business tycoon so like we'll we'll just wait oh my goodness he what propose um no don't do that i just want him to talk to her we'll just chat a bit a bit with the neighbors until the newspaper comes and he might be able to get a job as you can see, he has very little money. He has 860 simoleons to his name. And that's not quite enough for anything, really. Oh, didn't I say to talk to Meadow? But you're talking to Jan Telman? Okay. Well, they have a mind of their own sometimes. Oh. Now, normally... Um, since I gave him the unplayed flag, normally I play them until they get, um, this is correct, until they get the bills and then I just calculate everything and move them five days <laughs> ahead of time, um, artificially in my spreadsheet and then just adjust ages and stuff that needs to be adjusted but since he is waiting for someone in college i'm just gonna play him one day at a time until she gets out um that's what i usually do now she's like in first year so i think or maybe sec did she move on to second year carol is still on her first year right I could have sworn she got into the second year, but she did not. Yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what was I doing? We are changing the day because it is Saturday, not Monday, according to my spreadsheets. So there you go, now it's Saturday. Save that. Sometimes that snaps back if you like delete that vase 
too soon or something. But I think me saving Lock City, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've had a, some like flipping happen. So, well, now, oh my goodness, here, here thinks a lot of ladies are really super. So we will see. Oh, uh, we will spawn casual Roman spawn adjuster. And it's fine to have a stack of phone books out here in the corridor. Like, um, that's a usual occurrence in my game. <laughs> and I'm going to allow it. Also, you saw me doing that thing with the clouds. You can see I have added clouds, uh, but they're not moving. So that's kind of boring. So what we do is we buy one of these and I have started randomizing this. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down here we have six, I do believe. Yes. So I go to random.org like so. And we do one through eight and we get a four and then six. So it's going to be four, six. <laughs> it will make sense in the second. Okay, so what we do here is we go one, two, three, four, and then six. So this, oh my goodness, this is going to be kind of special. I need also move objects on. And you'll see what I mean by special in a short while. This guy is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know if I should re-randomize it. I usually use it for, you know, kind of fantasy settings. But here I go, here because I started to randomize it, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Wow. Well, because it, it looks like nighttime. It doesn't really make sense that that only happens for him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-randomize. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my goodness, I'm doing this wrong. I still got four. What was four the thing that we don't want? I think four is the... Yeah. Someone told me I can move this. Nobody tells you these things. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna randomize till I get nothing but four. Okay, so I got a one and yeah, I'm gonna let it be like that then. That cost him extra 15 simoleons. You see what happens now is that it moves. And I mean, it's subtle, but the sky looks a little bit more awake. So I like doing that. It's called the Great Sky of Totalitarism. Uh, I got the link from Pleasant Sims, but you can just Google the Sky of Totalitarianism. I can't say it. Doesn't it look cloudy for a summer day? You can still get clouds on summer days. I'm not going to change this like all year round because I'm lazy. So <laughs> sometimes it will look right. <laughs> Also, hello, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> what is happening? Oh no, I'm having trouble again. All right, let's just reset it and hope it doesn't happen again. I think it was a stray coming in here. It doesn't work for some reason, I don't know. Yeah, also, yeah, um, it may look cloudy to you on the summer day, but this is the industrial part of the town. So, you know, there's a factory down here and there's big, things and there's another factory over here and here's here we have some silos i don't know what they're used for some weird satellite i just plopped everything down to be honest <laughs> so uh, it may be cloudy <laughs> now it makes sense to you <laughs> yeah i mean the the fantasy bit did not make any sense to me so the, the apartment is in great shape. I'm contemplating I'm going to buy him 
a bed. I will probably have to sell this because I will probably not have room for this. Or the baby will have to sleep on the ground. Because his fiance is in college and she's pregnant and she can't have a baby there it's not allowed so the, the rule is you have to um, put the baby somewhere else <laughs> or drop out so you can take care of it the baby cannot stay at the college lot even though I have mods that makes it totally possible to have a baby there but it's not the school says that it's not suitable to have a child in the dorm so we're not having it why do we get mail on a sa saturday that's wait it should not be saturday it should be sunday i think oh no i I effed it up. Yeah, okay. My spreadsheet has weird days for the townies. And Randy was a townie, so that's why that happened. It is actually supposed to be Sunday. Yes. My bad. I thought it's, it felt strange to set it to saturday but sometimes i do what the spreadsheet says <laughs> it's fine i don't know if i should delete these maybe he just got a love letter or something from someone maybe it wasn't built why can't you what is happening now <laughs> what has happened? Okay, let's reset this. What? Oh my goodness. Maybe it worked. Maybe it worked. Um, no. I'm having all sorts of issues with this lot. I might have to bulldoze it and place another one. These apartments are really awful anyways i don't know i don't seem to be able to get the mail out maybe there's an invisible sim of some kind somewhere let's just use this debugger thingy uh maybe this and new no, what is it that you do? Not sure. I think it, there's uh, like re remove invisible sims or something. Stuck builds? Is, are they stuck? Well, I don't think he was supposed to get builds today. Because it was supposed to be Sunday. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, we're not smiting anyone. Um, but I could have sworn I saw something about invisible sims somewhere. Maybe it's only available if we have those. I don't know. The scenario controller. I'm not sure what that is. And I'm not, I have been using that and I'm not sure that was wise. <laughs> well, this is the issue part of town, just so you know. Oh, we have got a newspaper so we can find a job. He wants a job in the business career. But if there's not a job, like normally I uh, I wait until they want a job before I get a job. But the rule for unplayed sims is we always give them a job. Because I don't play them all the, uh, every day. So there's a music career. Journalism. 
in culinary. So the thing he wants is not there. So what we do then is we we take the first job in a newspaper. That's just the job that he managed to get. We could take the best paid ones, but that's not what we do. <laughs> Wait, was didn't I take? Wasn't it something else? No, it was music. Okay. I'm a bit confused today, I feel. But I have had worse days. <laughs> All right. Um, he wants to tell an inside joke and he wants to win a co cooking contest. I don't know how to win cooking contests. I have never managed to do it. So I'm, not, I'm not even trying, but we're getting a phone for him. Did you know that you can place them here over the bench like this? And it will still work. So I think he has. All right. So he is best friends forever with Meadow. So we should be able to tell her an inside joke if we can find her. Here. That's not on her door. There she is. And entertain inside joke. Hi Meadow, nice apartment. You don't have a bed either? Well, not many people do. And he thinks she's hot, but I do believe, if I don't misremember, <laughs> I know she's involved somehow with Dustin Broke. I'm not sure how involved she is. Well, we can look at her finger, she's not engaged. But I do know that they have like some sort of romantic involvement. Also, she, he is with Carol. <laughs> so. Hello there, Randy. You have a lot in common with my friend Mortimer Goff. He's dead. Mind if I give you Mortimer your number? I think you two would get along as well as you and I do. Well, okay, give me the number of the dead guy. Uh, I don't think that works. That's weird. Why does that keep happening? That's the sort of thing that I expect to happen in Sims 4, not in The Sims 2. It's weird. I don't know. Well, it did happen. I think his grave is on the golf mansion lot. So I can't, I can't even go visit him because then I would have to play the golf household. Also, you know that Alexander Goff in my game, he, he spent one year in prison because he was fighting publicly. He did it again. So he has got gotten sentenced to two more years in prison. But I don't, I, there wasn't room for him, <laughs> so, so he will uh, not go yet. What, is, what, are, what are you guys doing now? Like, is it something wrong with the door? Reset the door then, then. maybe that will help. What are you trying to do? We don't know. Well, Randy wants to buy a mirror. Let's do that. A mirror is very handy, especially if you want to have charisma. And this bathroom is very uh, space effective, <laughs> if I put the mirror there. And now he wants to find a roommate, because you, you have so much room to spare. I mean, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> Let's see if we can get a roommate. I don't know if we're going to... Like, if we get a roommate, I'm not sure they will stay. <coughs> because there's only one bed. Um, but, okay. So it says you should expect to receive calls from prospective roommates shortly. If you have a computer, you can just go in there and get one. But I don't. He wants a table. Well, I think now I can remove this one. 
think that's okay. There. I don't think there's gonna be much drama unless he has a, an affair with someone in here, but oh my goodness. Who's fighting? Kennedy Cox and Tasha Go. All right. I don't even know if I can have Kennedy as in my spreadsheet. Kennedy. No, I do not. All right. Well, we'll just uh, add him in there. There. I'm adding in as a Tony Kennedy. How does it how is it spelled? C O X. I think there's another Cox in here. We also have Armando Cox. Okay. That's a very weird name by the way. And I'm adding in adults as 21 years old. So let's do that. And and then add a criminal record. <laughs> there we go. Here we have my little spreadsheet. It's very nice. So I'm just gonna add here that he has not served the sentence yet, and he is. It's a first-time offense, public fighting, and who else was it? Tosha Go. All right, so she will have the same sentence. It doesn't matter who started the fight, I have decided. <laughs> the law doesn't care about that. There we go. There, see, that that's why <laughs> that's why I get so many people in my prison. They keep fighting with, with each other, but I have started with a program that while you're in prison like all day you need to to spend all day trying to repair their relationship with anyone you are furious with starting with anyone that is in the prison because there will be in my inmate fightings um and then if you're not furious with anyone you're are still going to call the one that you like the least and talk to them so that they like you a little bit better and hopefully and you cannot get out of prison if you are still furious with anyone so hopefully that will make people not in prison not fight so much can i now say go away from here can i like shoo them away or something I think Tosha might live here, so I can't like ask her to leave. And does Kennedy also live here? Yes, probably. So I can't ask to leave. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I would. So they might like fight more, but i'm not i'm not gonna add the, if they start another fight the same day i'm not gonna add to their sentence because i'm not <laughs> so that was unfortunate now you have a record look how pretty she is but the, <laughs> the benefit for me to put them in prison is that i get to play them so and sometimes uh, stuff happens in the prison. They have a photo booth that is proven very popular in the past. Is it the same ones? Yes. It's it's still them, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. But this is still like the same fight. So <laughs> we can't do anything about these two, and everyone else seems to enjoy it. So all right. Also, Daniel Pleasant is now in prison. Um, like, 
at one point point i thought like maybe i'm if i'm doing this maybe everyone is going to end up in prison and i'm just gonna have a huge prison with all the sims in it i don't know maybe you know you don't know i don't know it might happen we don't we can't you know they yes okay but w what we can do is we can talk to these people so that they're busy talking to me and not fighting so it will be a little bit calmer but you can't go around fighting all the time it's very destructive like everyone stands around cheering for it <laughs> what we could do is have a party because <laughs> because he has moved in so it makes sense maybe he doesn't want to do fun stuff he is a fortune sim so like there's not much stuff he wants to do he was going to buy crap and probably make money so. when is his work uh not today it's tomorrow all right well tomorrow is going to be autumn oh right the reason i was talking about daniel pleasant is that because here's Sophie Miguel and she is Daniel Pleasant's fiance. Uh, because <laughs> Daniel Pleasant is a romance sim and he was fearing to get engaged. So I had to do it. <laughs> That's my new rule. It's to mess with them when they have a fear of getting engaged or uh, get married or have a baby. I make it happen just to mess with them <laughs> because they cause so much drama it's, it serves them right <laughs> oh we can invite Carol yes let's do that I wonder how many pets I invited I didn't really look but maybe we'll have some drama we'll see oh uh, hello how do I invite you in then in uh i don't know oh she has invited herself in okay well we can talk uh, oh right because i'm having a party is that why or is there some other reason oh also i don't exactly know what happened but i accidentally installed a mod i think or made a setting in acr i'm not sure so elders can now get pregnant so faith goody actually turned pregnant somehow um i'm going to allow it because it's just one but i'm never i never try for baby with elders because that they're not supposed to be able to but in my game suddenly they are they they didn't before i i don't know what i did <laughs> i'm sorry sometimes stuff just happened uh i i might have installed some mod or something i'm not sure these wants are boring but we have a party uh so we should like oh he wants to goose her oh my god through the door all right well and here's the goopy gills carbo i'm not really sure about what is up with that character but apparently goofy is <laughs> a special character thing in the sims 2 and it does something not sure what so you know he he's he's there i don't know yes this apartment is awful let's uh, walk outside and there's nothing to do out here either 
but you know, it's fine. Maybe somewhere else there's something funny. Well, there's some ACR going on. <laughs> if I had a couch, they may um, do the woohoo. But I don't have a couch, and they can't do it on single beds. Uh, well, he aged up, so we gotta. Well, we can we can hide this bit, and his age. Where's the age? There it is. He is now twenty eight, and Carol. I, I have two Carols. It's very annoying. Oh my goodness, you can't see. Well. Here she is. If I do this, you can see the spreadsheet better. This is the right Carol. <laughs> she is only 18 because I just added her in as a young adult in my spreadsheet. So there's a like 10 year age difference. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment <laughs> of my spreadsheet. Um, in order to get a spreadsheet like this, I recommend just starting with the household and then the names and then the age. And then just add <laughs> information as you think you need it. If you don't think you need the, the information, then you don't need it in the spreadsheet. But I have this funny bit here. It's uh, this column is called glasses. From age so I randomize on everyone that doesn't have data 1 to 75 and then once they reach the age that I randomize to them they get glasses <laughs> because I have glasses and I got it at age 34 <laughs> and then when they get children I take the lowest number of the parents and the highest number of the parents and I widen the range by 10 on each side and then I randomize for the children so it's sort of a genetic but sometimes like one parent is got glasses at age 10 and the other one at 60 so you know I got the whole range it's very random but it's fine I like numbers. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> well, Randy, you are just a delight uh, to have on a party, standing in a corner uh, playing video games. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, Meadow is doing the same. All right. Well, I'm just sort of seeing if there's some drama unfolding, but I don't think these people have any drama. This is... Wait, Brandy Letourneau? Oh, I thought it was uh, Brandy Broke, but it wasn't. <laughs> This is a completely different person. What is she doing? <laughs> okay, well, if I take a screenshot of this, won't that make good um, thumbnail? Don't you think? <laughs> Gotta think about these things. When I upload this video to, to YouTube, that will be the thumbnail. <laughs> Unless something more fun happens, but I don't think something fun, more fun is going to happen. Demonic alien in disguise. Might be. You don't know. Well, actually, in Sims 2, they don't disguise themselves. But, lore-wise, we could have that happen. So, just because it doesn't technically happen, doesn't mean... It couldn't happen. Also, can I change her to 
maternity clothes because her belly doesn't show. So if I do gussy up, uh, no, I'm not allowed to do that. What, what do you mean shake clothes? Oh, okay. Or maybe if I plan outfit for her, she has some clothes with a, a pregnancy more, maybe. Oh, this is buy clothing. I don't want to do that. No, stop. I don't want to go through all this. I will... Okay. <laughs> she wants to go home. See you later. Okay, bye. Did we talk to Sophie? Sophie. Oh my goodness, we hate her, apparently. Let's try and apologize to her so that we don't accidentally fight her and end up in prison because we can't have that with a baby on the way. That won't do. <laughs> At all. Because in this world, it's really easy to accidentally end up in prison. <laughs> they lost the, the enemy bit at least so that is that is good outcome of this party ah we're making progress in other news today i had a meeting with a uh, organization where i would like to work and it's not nothing is decided yet but i I feel like it might happen <laughs> and if it does happen then I will have way less time to stream so will I just have to stream until I get a job which may happen like it I mean I'm trying to get a job like money is nice I like money <laughs> I like numbers and money and numbers that mean money that's nice <laughs> Anyway, so, so if that happens, I may not stream as much anymore. Uh, we can be sad about that. It's, it's okay. But do remember it's good for me. <laughs> so just a heads up. I'm having like a meeting with them like in two weeks or something. So I don't know. There's also this th other company that called me yesterday. I'm not sure about them. But they exist. In the world. No, 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 no. Don't, don't start fighting. I, I told you not to do that. Well, see, you gotta watch them. Stop. You're gonna make her your enemy again. Don't stop. See, see what you did. Now she's all sad and stuff. You gotta apologize to her and be be nice. And just talk to her and apologize to her. That's all you gotta do, man. Until the party's over, then we are probably putting him to bed. I feel. And I get to show you the the cool feature of my spreadsheet that I have made. Okay, party's over. Uh, apologize to her if you can. You cannot. <laughs> She's leaving. All right. So uh, let's let's just go to bed. And we will resort the spreadsheet because it will turn Monday in a second. There we go. We now have a Monday. I'm usually letting time pass until like five o'clock or something, something like that. Nothing's going on, but you know. Okay, I think that's enough. 
So, what we're going to do is we're going to say that Randy London is now on day zero of the summer. <laughs> like, there's zero days left. And it is Monday now. Um, and then I'm gonna... <laughs> we do have... I'm just gonna show you. Where is it? It's a tool. No, no. Is it an extension? Yes, it's a macro. I have a macro. So we can actually go... Oh, <laughs> I ran it. All right. There's a short key also. But how do I... We can manage macros. That's how we do. And we can edit script. It's nothing fancy, really. This is a really simple code. It's just sorting, really, um, on four different columns. I don't know if this is interesting to you, but it is sort of interesting to me. And the way I got these is just I uh, I was in here and I just did macro record macro and I did the sorting. So uh, then I looked at the code and OK, this number here is the number like if you just count one, two, three until 12, then you get that column and you sort it. And this is if it's ascending or descending. And I keep mixing them up some. I won't say which it is. <laughs> but it's age. So this should be descending. Uh, so false means that it's not ascending. Logic. Okay. So when I ran it, we can see that we still have all the townies. And what we just do with the townies is we just don't... Add, change that number we just change their ages so I'm just gonna there's probably a better way to do this uh, but I haven't been bothered to to find out how to just increase a whole bunch of numbers with one I mean there's probably there's probably a way this is not that difficult so I'm just doing this You just go through them all. And this way, I mean, the only reason I have their ages here is that then I know when they're supposed to grow up. Th that's all. <laughs> so now that I increased all of them, uh, we put they have zero days left in summer. Do the sorting again and we will find that we have a whole bunch of people that has summer and zero days left. What we want to do is change to autumn. Uh, actually, we want to change to not like that. And rotation six and set this number to five. Like so, and then we can just resort, and we get to find out that we are playing the verbs, but they don't have a record token, so we could just switch to the dreamer household um, for a little bit, or we could, yeah, I think we we're doing that, so. Let's just let's just go over to the dreamer household. Uh, it's very exciting. Now we have the first day of autumn. Here's all the dreamers and the house was filling up. See, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Sims and Steph is pregnant. So I was thinking like they can't get any more children after this because the house will be full. But with the uh, the mod that I have, it uh, is actually technically possible that Steffi can get pregnant after she gives birth to this child. Oh my goodness, they are having a party, I think. <laughs> All right. Apparently I left them uh, during during the night as soon as it turned Monday 
sometimes I do that too. Anyway, but I'm thinking that I'm not going to try, even even if they want a baby, I'm not going to try and get them pregnant because the house is full. Because it should be. I'm not sure. Oh, see, she's walking like this, so she, she is. She is a preggers. We can change into maternity clothes because... Oh no, what did you do? Dorian? Can't just leave a pile of clothes like this. That's not nice. Let's see. We have Dirk here. And he has uh, quite an extensive family tree. His first child is Melinda that he has together with Lilith. And then we have Dorian... Dean and Duke with Steffi and another one on the way because she is a family sim and she keeps wanting to have children but she also wants to get a promotion because money is good I don't remember do they have money in the bank or stuff I'm just gonna hide this column oh I'm looking at the wrong place Sometimes I do this. <laughs> so we're apparently starting with 97. So, I, But I want to start with this family. So I'm going to add this. This is just a random number, really. That it doesn't really matter what number it is. It just determines how they're sorted. So now they're on the top. Well, Darren seems to have a lot of money in his bank account. Is that right? We can check. Bank. Check. Zero. What? Okay. So the spreadsheet didn't acknowledge that he extracted everything because they re needed to remodel the house a bit because it, it, it got too small for them. So now they have room for everything. Oh my goodness, what is happening over here? There's a lot of demon demon things going on. Maybe maybe Emil over here is also some kind of alien in disguise. <laughs> Not sure. Let's take pictures. See, he's fine. <laughs> but seems to seems sometimes do that. Okay, <gasps> Professor Peter Buckingham. I don't think I've seen you before. I stopped adding professors to the spreadsheet. Not entirely sure about that. But I did. Now. They do have money and stuff to be eligible to adopt a kid, but still the rule applies that the house is full, so I don't think they're allowed to. <laughs> so... Darren is in platinum. That means that we can focus on his lifetime want. And he wants to max out seven skills. So let's start with mechanical because he needs that for, for work. Uh, so study mechanical. Also Dorian is in platinum. 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 And he wants to have 20 simultaneously best friends. Well, that is way easier <laughs> than than getting uh, 20 simultaneous lovers. So that's lucky. He wants to become best friends with, who's this? Bob the Third. He doesn't live here, but he's over there. Okay, I'll talk to him, but he might be going home because the party ended. Why is there a child here in the middle of the night? 
They usually just leave. But maybe maybe he got here after the threshold time when children leaves. Maybe that is what happened. Also, is nobody going to sleep in this house? Uh, also, also, I don't remember whose bed is whose. I know that children sleep up here like Melinda, Dorian and Dean sleep up here. But I don't remember which bed is which. I think this is might be Mel Melinda's bed because I think that she made this. I think. Ooh, she wants to fall in love with Emil. Maybe I let her, if that's what she wants. She can flirt with him. Mm, try and hold hands. Oh my goodness, she is on a date with him and I forgot about that. Okay, I left them on a date, apparently. But, you can see here that Darren is getting a boost in his knowledge because it's autumn, so this will be like every knowledge sims dream season <laughs> we also came from summer which is boosting friendships and spring is boosting romance romance and i think like um i think winter is boosting like relationship between family members i think oh my goodness this is a dream date let's lock that in and she wants to go steady with him i don't often get that once so let's let's have him do that Aww. okay maybe it is in the middle of the night and she has school tomorrow and she does she wants to get into private school. Should we try? Like it's usually chaos, but we can we can try anyways. <laughs> it usually um, ends up with much stress and stuff. But you know, the worst thing that can happen is that it doesn't happen. So we can end this date now because it's already a dream date. So we don't need to keep it going they're only like she is very young she doesn't think about messing around and stuff she just wanted it to be a very good date okay so now dustin comes over and thinks like maybe bob should not be here so dustin has moved back home with his mother what is it randy brandy right i need to check <laughs> Uh, they're called Sartor Brandy, like she she remar remarried. Oh, 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 isn't this cute? Well, okay. So the <laughs> the lore behind Emil over here, he is he has been adopted by the Goody family, so he is now Emil Goody, but. Uh, he has he grew up in the orphanage before that and before he was adopted like of course <laughs> and the reason for that is that he is actually Nina Caliente's lost son she did not want a child just so she just uh, abandoned him at the orphanage and didn't tell anyone so nobody actually knows who he is except me and nina caliente <laughs> but so nina is going to tell him that he is nestor caliente uh when he turns 18. i have that saved in my spreadsheet but uh it's not going to happen just yet so he lives his life they named him emil at the orphanage so that's who he is should i lock in the reach charisma level one 
Um, yeah, sure. But I think I should try and put everyone to sleep so that they can have a nice day at school tomorrow. Um. Okay, I don't know if there's any homework for you to... That's a, that's a newspaper, that's not homework. I don't think we have homework to work on. Oh, here's some homework. Because Dean over here wants to learn homework, but this is not his. I think it's Melinda's homework. She should do that. She should do the homework because she wants to go to college one day. So, but first, sleep first. And El Duke over here. Oh, wait. When is Steffi having her baby? I don't know. Uh, did I enter it in the spreadsheet? I usually do. She's due on Tuesday, so I don't have to worry about that. And I only have female names for the baby. I kind of hope it is a female because they have three boys. So it's time for a girl. <laughs> Maybe. Where are you going? He wants his children to get scholarships and he wants to help Dean with homework. Can he like, since he doesn't know, he can't help Dean with homework because th these homeworks seem to be tagged as teen homework now for some reason I don't know oh well he also wants to play a computer game and gain a skill point he does need body for work could he maybe do some physical activity like jump rope maybe? Oh, what's happening now? I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> I'll be right back.
inviting me. Hello, <laughs> there, I am back. So, uh, my daughter is going to show up in a little bit. So I think I, we should end this stream actually. But, and it's still Monday morning. Oh well, um, that, that just means that we will be able to keep this family going next time I stream. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not stressed or anything. It's fine. So let's, let's actually go to Twitch and see if someone else is playing Sims 2. Um, no, but this person, thank you for the follow, is stating that they are playing The Sims 4. What? Um, so let, let's, let's read them <laughs> and say hi for me when we get there. So have a nice day. Yes, you too. Have a very nice day. Um, until next time, have a super duper time as always. And stay safe. Take care. Be nice to each other. All right. Bye.